I went to Bergen Catholic. Uh, I played uh, football, baseball, and basketball there. My wife was an athlete in college. I played baseball in college, so sports and athletics has always kind of been something um, you know I've been interested in, and, and our kids, thankfully, have, have been interested in participating as well. You know, it's something I'll probably always love. I originally saw Dr. Allert uh, for a shoulder injury, and uh, there was persistent pain and limited range of motion. And I tried uh, stretching, I tried resting, I tried icing, I tried heating, I tried pretty much everything I could think of or everything I could find on the internet, and none of it was really successful. There was just no solution I could come up with my own, so I went and seek the consultation. I saw uh, Dr. Allert, he was strongly referred by other folks who had uh, injuries and needed rehabilitative services. When we reviewed the MRI together, Matt had a very specific and a little bit unusual labral tear. It uh, resulted in a type of one-way valve where the fluid from the shoulder joint got in behind the labrum and built up to the point where it caused a pretty good amount of pain for Matt. We discussed initially trying non-operative treatment. That included everything from injections to physical therapy. Unfortunately, it didn't help him to relieve the symptoms and he still had pain in the shoulder. We just determined that in order to get me back to where I wanted to be, uh, active with no restrictions, surgery was going to be our best option. Dr. Allard and his team at Restoration Orthopedics was extremely professional. Uh, this, the procedure was done on site in a facility at his, uh, at his office and his entire team was extremely helpful. Surgery went well. We were able to go in there arthroscopically with a fiber optic camera through small incisions and we were able to locate the tear, fix the tear, repair the tear and also remove all the fluid that was trapped behind the labrum and uh, repair the labrum so that the fluid didn't get trapped again. Given the fact I'm only in my early 40s, I didn't want to live the rest of my life with limitations. I think for a lot of people, uh, they've become very content with just having aches and pains and injuries. I think the process of potentially having a surgery or seeking out help can be a hard one. There's a lot of options, there's a lot of different opinions. We put together a, a plan uh, that was designed specifically for me, not for anyone else. And uh, because of that, I feel like I'm back to exactly where I, where I wanted to be.